And all Fight fans coming to you live around the world on Fight TV Pay-Per-View. From the Forum in Halifax, Nova Scotia, Canada, this is our opening attraction of the evening. And it's set for four rounds in the middleweight division. Presented by Three Lines Promotions and sponsored by RBF Drywall, City of Lakes Drywall, Spar Boxing Apparel, High Grade Dispensary, Supplement Kings, and Passage Pizza. The three judges scoring this contest tonight at ringside are Wayne Gray, Dave Arthur, Mike Looney, and our referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Hubert Earl. And now, fight fans, this is our opening attraction. Four rounds in the middleweight division. Introducing to you first tonight, fighting out of the blue corner, standing with trainer Brody Boone, wearing black with gray here tonight. He officially weighted 173.6 pounds. This evening, he enters this attraction as a professional for the fifth time. Hailing from the Hammer, Hamilton, Ontario, Canada. Introducing Jure Ultra Wacky! <laughs> and across the ring, his adversary, fighting out of the red corner, standing with trainer Wayne Gordon, wearing red trunks trimmed with black and gold. He officially weighed in 172.4 pounds. In five professional contests, his record consists of three victories, with two wins coming to you by the fast way of knockout and only two blemishes. Fighting out of his hometown here tonight, Halifax, Nova Scotia, representing Cytadel Boxing Club, introducing Daniel DKB's the Once again, our referee in charge of the action at the sound of the bell, Hubert Earl. Well, Manny, Jeremiah Gallegos has just set the stage as well as he ever does. We are live for our first fight of the night here inside the forum in Halifax, oh, Nova Scotia. Drake Olchewecki fighting out the blue corner, wearing the black trim with silver. Daniel Beaupre in the red trim with black, fighting out of the red corner. He's the hometown boy tonight. And as I said, he can really crack. I'm looking forward to this. This is... Here we go. Ultra Wacky looking to start boxing. Neither fighter looking to give any ground. Ooh, little clash of heads there. See a little bit of swelling around the eye of Beaupre already. Just 30 seconds into the contest. He lands a nice short right hand on the chin of Ultraweki. Beautiful right hand. Oh, oh big shot by Drake Ultraweki. Catches Beaupre on the way in. Beautiful oh, shot. Oh my word. What a start here at the Forum in Halifax. He caught him. Cold. Beaupre is stunned at the moment, Manny Montreal. Let's see if he can get his legs. Buy himself some time can here. Can recover from this? Uh, it's going right back to the drawing board here. I spoke to Jake Olchewecki before this fight. He was very, very confident. Good job by Olchewecki again. Got to, got to remember that uh, Beaupre's got that win over Beaton, and it was on, on similar circumstances. Nice body shot downstairs. These two guys have not wasted time. Drake trying to meet him with the jab. Nice right hand by Beaupre on his back. Seen to affect Olchewecki. Both men trading shots here. Referee Hugh Bazale intervenes. It's a referee who's worked some big fights. Referee Roy Jones fights in his past. Very experienced referee. We were a little critical of him last time we were here. And he's got a fight on his hands right now. 
Short uppercut by Bopre follows a little one-two attempt by Ultraweki. Wild uppercut and a miss from Daniel Bopre. Both men showing signs of fatigue already. work by Daniel Bopay inside. He's been down on the canvas, Manny Montour, but he's been fighting well since. Oh, and he's down again, just as I say that. Oh, my word. Take hold your wacky. Timed him. Big one, too. Nice right hand by Bopay on his back. Ten seconds left here in round one as we start with a bang yet again here in Nova Scotia. Wow, ladies and gentlemen. Manny Montiel. What an opener, folks. What an opener. We're not out of it yet. Here comes the replay. Talk us through this, Manny. Get a quick look at this. Rick was doing actually pretty good. He got short caught right with that hand short right off. hand. Beautiful work. Wow. Timed him well. Here we go with the other one. As I say, I spoke to Ultraweki before this fight. He was extremely confident. He's had a mixed start to his professional career. But yeah, he's fighting well so far tonight. He scored two knockdowns, which even at this stage seems hard for to see a comeback for Beaupre, doesn't it, Manny? It's, you know what? For him to be the shorter man and to try to out-jab the taller man seems to me like a futile endeavor. Uh, we didn't get a chance to see the second knockdown, but both knockdowns were just Fast start to round two here for Daniel Bopre, one with a sneaky uppercut there that I feel Jay Pochuepi felt. Good short shot by the body there from Drake. Definitely consider working on the body more. Good right nice right hand right by Daniel Bopre. back into this fight, but that was a big body shot downstairs from Ultraweki, well placed. Both men exchanging here. Already showing signs of fatigue. The occasion can get to these young fighters, it is a big card. Nice body oh. shot downstairs by the DK Beast. Right hand by Bopre. And Both. again an uppercut. He's working his way back into this fight. With chopping shots. Again, the dirty boxing inside is working well for Daniel Bopre. Both men swinging wildly. I don't believe Drake Holtzweck. He fully knows where he is at this moment in time. He's fighting on instinct. Daniel Bopre fighting on pride in front of his hometown fans, looking to claw his way back into a contest. He's already three points down. And good work by Jay Cotterwecki. Manny, both men trading shots here. Again, neither neither guy right willing to take a, a step backwards. This is not a this is not a fight where we'll be talking about the footwork at the end of the day. We'll take away the knockdowns and we're talking about a difficult fight to score, aren't we? Yeah, absolutely. Because he, he's game, he's still coming. Ultra Wecky with a Hail Mary overhand right. Well, that's been the story for both fighters. They've always been in tough fights. It's, it's not like they've ever had a very clear, easy win. For the exception of, of the beaten quick knockout. Ten seconds left as Bopre lands another right hand on the chin of Ultraweki to close this round. What 
an interesting round to score. Manny Montreal, as Olszewski did score a knockdown, but I felt Bopre may have done the better work that round. We're watching the replay now. I think that would be a 10-9 round for Olszewski, maybe, as Bopre would have won the round. Manny Montreal, get off your cell phone. We are live on air here from the Halifax Forum. Oh, I'm entering my scores is what I'm doing. Brody oh, Boone. Beautiful work Brody the body. Boone, the corner man, we can't see it on camera, but Boone, the corner man of Ultraweki, is rallying his charge in the corner right now. He could Manny, who would you rather be right point. now? Who would you rather be in this fight? I'd still rather be Drake. I'd still rather be Drake, because at the end of the day, if they call it a day at the moment, the, the knockdowns are, are... But you can almost feel the momentum shift and ever so slightly in this contest. Well, unfortunately, we only got four rounds of this. So he's got to do something pretty decisive in order to change the tide here. It could be a tough fight the rest of the way, but we're still going to have a clear winner. I must add that Manny Montreal was updating his unofficial scorecard here tonight for Freeline Promotions. <laughs> Manny, how do you have this fight right now? 2020, uh, 2016 for Drake. Well, if the judges see it the way you do, Manny, Daniel Bopre has a mountain to climb here in his hometown of Halifax. He, the thing is, he does have the power and the pop to surprise him. And, and change the tide rapidly. He has to create that distance for himself in order to land them big shots. Well, if he's going to be in that tight, he's got to work to the body like he's doing now. Just That's good work from Daniel Bopre. Nice right hand by Jake Olszewski. It's been the story of the fight so far. The backhand of Olszewski. Both men stepping forward meeting each other in the middle. No one giving no quarter here. Nice work downstairs from Daniel Bopre once more. You can't say the fight's won, that's for sure. Whatever happens Definitely here tonight, pulling for air right now. Daniel Bopre is a young man. He got himself into trouble in his youth, like many of these fighters, and boxing's helped him turn his life around. And now he's on a massive stage here in Nova Scotia. One of the biggest fight cards here in a very long time, I would have to say. Worldwide, across. And he is doing his part in a very entertaining contest. He's been on the wrong end of a couple of knockdowns, but it hasn't stopped him coming forward. This would be a big win for Olszewski. Absolutely. Nice and shots downstairs again. It's a must-win fight for both men in many ways. Trey Kolchiweki won two and one at the moment. He's had somebody's going to walk away here with with three losses on their record. Kolchiweki's had four fights, but he's fought Gregory Miller twice, Javon Blackstock twice. He lost his first two fights. He said he focused himself more, dedicated himself more to the craft. He avenged the loss to Miller. He scored a draw with Javon Blackstock in his last fights out fairly recently. And now he's equipping himself really, really well against Daniel Bolt right here. A little wrestling here. Not going to be a knockdown. Going to be ruled a slip as we get to the bell. He might pull it out of the fire. My unofficial score on the screen. Unofficial scorecard on the screen right now. After just remember, two rounds, but we just updated the third round. Just remember, it's uh, Manny Montreal on Instagram, Twitter, and everywhere else. If you want to get at me for my scorecards, I'm right, I'm waiting for you. Yeah, so obviously the scorecard didn't show. I, I'm still going with uh, Ochoeki, 10-9 in that last round. So 
so far. Ladies Although and gentlemen, on, on the this is the fourth and Although final round. One kind of way. It, it is a much closer fight. Here we go, final round. Bopre's got to pull it out of the fire here. Daniel Bopre has less than three minutes to turn this tide. So if you're just joining us, folks, Bopre's been on the canvas twice. Good uppercut. Nice right hand from Ochoeki. It's been Bopre forcing the fight ever since. Drake's, Drake's pulling for air right now. This has been a very tough four rounds for him. Bopre is not given an inch. Even with the knockdowns, here he is. Big body shots. They don't look like much, but they, they hit. Oh, they when, especially when you're tired like this, and you can see, oh, Drake just got caught with an uppercut there. Oh, she lost a bit of his. Wobbly legs at the moment, as Daniel Bopre is digging and digging and digging. He's got to take advantage of this. His, his fatigue has to become. He's in a hole, and he's digging himself out of it with menacing shots to the body. Ochoeki's hanging on for dear life as referee Hubert Hill steps in once more. Drake's just holding on for dear life now. He's got a minute 40 here to go through. I don't see that being a great idea. He's going to want to box and try and get on his jab as much as possible. Bopre could still pull this out here. He's got a minute and a half to try and half do it. Half a round left for Daniel Bopre to get the win. He's valiantly searching for it at the moment. You know, it, it's... Take hold to Wecky is in all kinds of trouble at the moment. He's hanging on for dear life here. I'm getting exhausted watching Ultra Wecky at the moment. Big right hand downstairs. seconds left in this contest folks Ochoaki fires back again off the ropes it's been a scrappy affair with both men with 30 seconds each left. chest all fight ten seconds left here folks Daniel Bopre landing an uppercut with seconds remaining in the fourth round. He buckles Ochoeki again. Wow. Oh, after a little after bad the fight here the between Bopre and Drake Ochoeki. Maybe. Ladies and gentlemen, here for the Halifax Forum, a big round of applause for both of these warriors here tonight. Starting off tonight's show with a bang. And now we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges have this contest identical, 38 to 37. To the winner by unanimous decision, hailing from Halifax, Nova Scotia, Daniel DKP's the I'm not entirely sure. Daniel, ladies and gentlemen, I'm here with your winner, Daniel Bopre. Daniel, i got to be honest with you. I'm quite shocked to see that decision. How are you feeling after that decision? I feel good. I feel like I got the first round. He knocked me down, but I came back for the other three, which gave me the decision. I'm pretty proud of it. He's a warrior. I'm proud to have shared the ring with him. And if he wants to do it again someday, we can. Well, I don't think it would be a terrible idea to have a rematch after that. But that, Daniel, you did come back strong. You did, you were hating him with the body. What, how did you feel in there? Did you feel confident you were going to get the decision or while you were waiting for it, was you not sure? After the first round, I knew I had to push it. I knew I couldn't get off of him, so I just kept pushing, made it a dull fight. And that's how I do it, right? I had a good time, and I'll be happy to be back next time. Ladies and gentlemen, your winner, Daniel Bopre.